your paper is going to be of total 80 marks and you will be allotted two and a half hours to solve this paper. Now these 80 marks are further divided into two sections, section A and section B as you can see here. Section A will be consisting of three questions wherein all are compulsory. So you need to attempt all the questions of section A. Whereas in section B there are seven questions and you only need to attempt any four. So you can attempt any four questions out of the seven questions in section B. Now let's talk about the marking scheme. So section A will have three questions. So question one will be of 15 marks, question two will be of 12 marks and question three will be of 13 marks. So total it will be of 40 marks. Alright, now section B will be having seven questions, 10 marks for each question as we need to attend any four. So total it will be of 40 marks. So section A will be of 40 marks, section B will be of 40 marks. In total there will be of 80 marks. Now let's move on and talk about the types of questions that are going to come in your board exam. So section A will be having three questions. There will be 15 multiple choice questions. Question two will have three short answer type questions. So basically question number two and then you will have one, two, three. So three sub questions of this main question number two. Similarly, question three will also have three sub questions. So question number three, one, two, three, there will be three sub questions. So let's see the marks for these. So 15 MCQs, one mark for each MCQ, that means 15 marks, all right. Now three sub questions for question number two, each sub question will be of four marks, all right. And similarly, question three will have three sub questions here, two sub questions will be of four marks each and one sub question will be of five marks, all right. So this is how your section A will look like. Now let's talk about section B. So as I said, section B will have seven questions. Now these seven questions are divided into two parts or two groups you can see. First part is question number four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. All right. Here what you will be having, you will be having two sub questions of three marks each and one sub question of four marks. Now for question number nine, you will be having one sub question of four marks and other sub question of six marks. So one out of the seven questions will be having two sub questions where one is of four marks and the other is of six marks and six out of the seven questions will be having three sub questions where two are of three marks each and one will be of four marks. So this is about overall paper pattern of your mathematics paper.